Yo, 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 what is up, people? Today we have gameplay and interview from some of the games we played when we were at EGX Resed in London. This is going to be an amazing vlog, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you are new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next vlog. Cheers. Hi, I'm here on the Disco Elysium stand with Robert. Robert, if you'd like to just uh, say a little bit about yourself before we get into the game. Uh, I'm Robert Kurwitz. Uh, I'm the lead designer of Disco Elysium. And then um, I was a novelist before I got into the video game swindle. And now I'm uh, you know, a video game developer, it seems. Ah. Enjoying that one? Yeah, I, I love the industry. And then uh, I love this and... Um, you know, I love seeing people play our games, so yeah, it, this is much better than being a, a novelist. Cool, yeah, I say that the reaction and the feedback I've got from being here is, uh, it's actually been really good. It, do, are you getting the same sort of feel? Yeah, it's incredible. Like, I, I, I had like, probably the best day you, I've had developing this game yesterday, like when we came here. Like, uh, as a, as a video game developer, you know, in this sink and swim situation in you know, neoliberalist hell, words like buzz and hype and excitement around your game are like, you know, manna for my soul. So <laughs> it's it's been very nice. Like you know, I'm uh, I'm amazed. Like I'm even surprised. Like people really, it seems to uh, it seems to connect really nicely with people. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so the game. Uh, can you give us a brief overview of what the game is about? Uh, well, it's Disco Elysium is a detective RPG, uh, so you know first of all it's a detective game. Uh, you go around in an open world kind of setting, and then you talk to people. You interrogate them about this one case that you have, uh, and then you try to use information from one person against the other and try you know find out uh, more about it. Uh, while you're doing this, you're also building your character, so uh, you get to uh, maybe think that. You know, hey, these uh, interrogations should uh, become more violent. You know, uh, enough enough of good cup, so you put points into your half flight, which is like your flight or fight response, and you can really hound suspects. And then just like, did you kill him? Why did you kill him? Are you gonna kill me like you killed him? Like just, you know, or you can be like a nice guy and you know, try to try to be friendly around them, try to be more suggestive, but at the same time you're also building like uh, uh, door kicking in skills. It's, that's very important for cops, I, I've noticed. So you can, you can build, build a very uh, physical character at the same time. So uh, it, it's not a no stakes kind of thing. People will shoot at you. There will be like uh, set piece combat sequences. And if you die, you know, the game is over. So you can uh, put points into your hand-eye coordination to be like a sharper cop or like uh, points into your rhetoric to be uh, an encyclopedia to be this kind of Sherlock Holmes character. So you can basically build your own kind of detective. Uh, and go around this open world game and, you know, uh, hopefully uh, approach it at your own leisure and try and solve the case in some kind of way. And uh, aside from, because it's an RPG too, aside from your main case, uh, you can also yourself begin about five other cases. Uh, and uh, they may uh, give you information on the main case. Like, you may come to a completely different con conclusion about the case than another player who didn't start this side case. So that's something RPGs can do. They can have like an open world kind of thing. So you can start exploring a doomed commercial area where all businesses fail. Why do they fail here? Maybe it's something supernatural. Or like uh, you can start looking into a kind of cryptid, a cryptozoological animal who's been roaming around the place. Does it exist? Does it not? Maybe it was the killer. You know, you can string together his stories and talk to, the, talk to different people and, and uh, hopefully bust the case. Cool, so that is sort of like just some crazy stuff there. So it's like you can change the how the story goes. I'm getting that sort of feel. So instead of just clicking a button saying next, next, next sort of thing and just like, yeah, I've just got to click it to get through. Depending on what you click, depending on how the story rolls, I guess. Yes, it's it's very nonlinear. Like that's another thing. 
detective games have been tried to, before and then have been done pretty well. Uh, L.A. Noir, for example, has been actually a very successful game. Uh, but, it, but it's a very linear story. When, you, uh, uh, when, you, when a police detective uh, works on a case, uh, they can do things in any order they can. Like they can go into the next room and they can find a piece of evidence that busts the whole case wide open in the beginning. So that has been very hard for games to um, produce and get that experience going. And then uh, because we work in a kind of um, a CRPG tradition, kind of a symmetric tradition, which does that very well, like linearity and the open world kind of stuff, um, I think we're I think we're getting to a very good place with that. So the game is very responsive to the order you go about things. You can mess up and then then fail at things and then surprisingly make connections and then you know bust open cases somewhere that you, other players don't. And you can also use your skills in a kind of very inventive ways there. So yeah, it's very ambitious. And then the way we mostly do it is by being pretty compact. Our open world is like a reasonable sized you know thing. It's not a Bethesda sized thing. Okay, so um, also I saw there was uh, different characters. So with different characters, does that mean that the game starts off differently as well? Uh, you are always going to be this one specific character in the game, uh, uh, a, a pretty washed out, uh, washed up, washed out, um, forty something, maybe even fifty something, uh, lieutenant detective, really down on his luck. Uh, but you can then sort of be start from a pretty carte blanche uh, situation, you can make him into any, anything you want to. Uh, there's a story reason for that that I don't want to spoil. Uh, you've, you've played it. It's a little humorous and maybe familiar in some kind of way. Why is that available? Okay, so basically you had a really apocalyptic drunk night out and then you, you, you wake up and you have a bit of another chance at life, so to say. So you can make this cop into like a radical feminist who has like visions of things and stuff, or you can make him into a really aggressive guy and so on. So we, I like to think that uh, we combine a lot of freedom about this character, the way the player sees this kind of character, and a lot of moral choice there, uh, but also have a kind of iconic uh, lead character, which um, for a detective story is kind of important. Right? Cool, so that's uh, sort of the main questions I've got around the game. Uh, just a question about, uh, is the game released or is there a release date? Uh, it's going to be released a second half of this year, 2018. Uh, uh, so we're going to uh, release an announcement trailer at E3 and that's going to have like our project deadline on it, like the, the dreaded hour for video game developers. Uh, but it's going to be yeah, second half of 2018. Okay, and um, what platforms is it going to be on? Uh, it's going to be for PC and for Steam and Humble Bundle, the Humble Bundle store, uh, our publisher. Uh, and, uh, you know, once the uh, super uh, forward looking and uh, whatever good things can I say about the PC community, uh, hardcore PC community uh, shows interest in this, as I hope they do. Uh, uh, we're also definitely going to want to push for PlayStation and uh, uh, Switch because uh, the game would work really well with a joystick too. Uh, since it doesn't have uh, classic tactical combat, though it has like these set-piece combat sequences where you do skill checks and you have to shoot your gun and maybe even 360 degree spin kick someone out every now and then, if you want to be an action cop. But it, it doesn't have that kind of problem of translating into the console with um, really precise mouse controls. Okay, cool, yeah. So um, that's everything I've got to, to ask, um, really. So all the links to everything, uh, the game, the website, where you can get it, etc., I'll put down below as much as I can. Uh, so just the last question I have, really, is, is there anything else you'd like to say to everybody about the game? Oh, yeah, that's the hardest question. Like, you know, <laughs> there, are, there are so many things. Because, I mean, we've been making this for four years living and breathing this stuff so uh, um, I don't know what is is there anything I think we've finally done a good detective game like a really good open world kind of I think we get what it's like to do that and then uh, it's been attempted before and then I think really quite successfully but I think it's a very interesting take on it so I don't know uh, also if you like 
RPGs, then this is going to be like a real Dungeons and Dragons kind of experience. So I know, yeah, the desktop Dungeons and Dragons thing, blood is strong in us. So you know, that kind of yeah, that's that's also you're going to like us if you like Dungeons and Dragons, basically. <laughs> cool. So that's uh, that's it. So make sure if you are at E3 this year, you go and check out the trailer, and you will have a date of when it's going to be released. So last thing all I can say is just a, a huge thank you to Robert for taking some time out. And thank you very much for making an amazing game. And I've enjoyed playing it today. So thank you very much. Speak to you soon. You are a detective in the city of Rivershaw. Solve a massive, open-ended case. Get lost exploring the city in this groundbreaking RPG. And build a truly unforgettable character.